All right, this is lesson 3.7, part two. Problem four, what is the equation in point-slope form of the line graph? Now, point-slope form, that's the form where we need a point and the slope. M is the slope. Uh, the point is x1, comma, y1. So, uh, first of all, let's use the two points we have to find the slope. So, using our slope formula, we got to find the difference in the y variables and divide that by the difference in the x variable. So, I'm going to do something like this, 5 minus negative 4 over negative 2 minus 4, which is 9 over negative 6, which is negative 1.5. So my slope is negative 1.5. I can substitute that for the m. And then I can just pick either point I want, either this one or this one. Um, I'm going to use the top one. So I'm going to use negative 2 for x and 5 for y. And then I get the equation y minus i is equal to my slope times the quantity x minus negative 2. And I can go ahead and simplify that. Negative 1.5 times quantity x plus 2. All right. If you're getting that, then uh, we can write the equation in point-slope form. And uh, that means we are going to uh, substitute one of the point values in the equation and substitute in the slope. And then we're going to just simplify. Now, um, if, we use, if we would have chose to use the other point, we could have gotten a different form of the equation. But um, this is just showing that both forms um, should come out the same. So if I change this to slope-intercept form, I'm going to use the distributive property here and do 6 fifths x minus 6 fifths times 3 is 18 fifths. Then if I add 5 to both sides, I get y equals 6 fifths x and 18, negative 18 fifths plus 5 is the same as negative 18 fifths plus 25 fifths, which is the same as 7 fifths. If I use the distributive property on this equation, I get y plus 1 is equal to 6 fifths x plus 12 fifths. If I subtract 1 for both sides, I get y is equal to 6 fifths x 12 fifths minus 5 fifths is the same as 7 fifths. And we can see from that work that we get the exact same equation. So uh, choosing negative 2, negative 1 gives the same equation. Uh, and they are equivalent equations. All right. What are the equations for the horizontal and vertical lines through the point 1, 7? We're going to change that so it fits on our graph to the point 1, 3. And then we can find that point 1, 3. So we want to graph the vertical and the horizontal line. I'll do the vertical line, in, the horizontal line in green, and the vertical line in purple. And if we look at this green line and just choose a couple points from that line, so this point is negative 2, 3. This point right here is 
33. And this last point here is 53. One thing you'll notice about all of these points and any point on this line is the y value is always 3. So the equation of that line is y is equal to 3. And the purple line, if I choose a couple points on that, this point is 1, negative 4. This point here is 1, negative 1. This point here is 1, 2. And one thing you might notice about all those points is the x value is always equal to 1. So the equation of the purple line is x is equal to 1. So the equation of the horizontal line through the point 1, 3 is y equals 3. And the equation of the vertical line through the point 1, 3 is x equals 1. All right, uh, what are the equations of the horizontal vertical lines through the point 4, negative 3? Here's the point 4, negative 3. There's the vertical line. Here's the horizontal line. And uh, every point on the horizontal line through 4, negative 3 has a y coordinate equal to negative 3. That's true. The equation of a vertical line through 4, negative 3 is y equals negative 3. That's false. The equation of a vertical line through 4, negative 3 is x equals 4. That's true. Uh, so the, this equation is y equals negative 3. And this vertical line is x equals 4. Lesson check. Uh, classmate found the slope of the line passing through 8, negative 2, and 8, 10 as shown at right. Describe your classmate there, and then find the correct slope of the line passing through the given points. The slope is the difference in the y values divided by the difference in the x value. And so we can see that um, our classmate made the error of finding the difference in the x values divided by the difference in the y value. So um, our friend used the formula wrong. And did run divided by rise, not rise divided by run. The slope should be 10 minus negative 2 divided by 8 minus 8. And if you do it that way, you get 12 divided by 0, which is undefined. And uh, a run of 0 means the slope is really infinity, but we say that it's undefined. And that concludes uh, the second part of Lesson 3-7. See you tomorrow.